Welcome back. Here's another episode. This is more, this is five more visually outstanding movies. These are movies that just blow me away, not from, specifically not, not just from a narrative perspective, or not from a script perspective, not from a direction perspective, not from, you know, dialogue or, you know, comedy or whatever. These are just move or emotional level. These are movies that just succeed extremely strongly. They may they may have all of those things. They all be they may be amazing in a million different ways, but these are movies that visually are absolutely outstanding. Uh, I'm gonna show like a picture of the movie poster because my editing is terrible. I can't have like the picture of the movie poster to literally with the editor I use the free editing software. I can't have a picture of the poster while I'm talking, which is so annoying. So you're gonna see a picture of the visual uh, of the poster or whatever, and then you're gonna see me. Here we go. Five more visually outstanding movies. Here we go. Rat Atui. Yes. If if that was cringe, it was because I was sort of referencing the thing the guy says in the movie when he's like drunk. Whatever. That was cringe. Not gonna edit that out, but it was cringe. Anyway, Ratatouille is this is a visually stunning movie. It's not just visually outstanding. This is a visually stunning movie because how is the animation this good in 2007? How does this film look so much better than like a ton of CGI movies that came out after this? How did we like already peak this good in CGI animation in 2007? Like that this is that stuns me. But this film is, um, this film looks amazing. It's set in like Paris, it's set in a kitchen. Once again with the Toy Story thing, kind of having it from the perspective of the rat makes everything feel a little bit bigger and feel a little bit like cooler. But like you, even the guy's apartment and the streets of Paris and the kitchen, it's just a, a vibrant. It's, and, the, and the old woman's house, it's just the setting and the, just visually this thing is outstanding. This is an awesome looking movie. This is a film you may not be familiar with if you're not a weeb, if you don't watch anime stuff. This is an anime movie. This is the highest grossing anime movie ever made. And it's called Your Name. And surprisingly, this is not from the very well-known anime studio. That actually does have some popularity in America that is Studio Ghibli. This is by, I don't even know what the name of the studio is. But anime animation does not get better than Your Name. This film is really, really stunning. Like, this just looks incredible. The music on this movie is also amazing, and it really does help the movie. Emotionally, this is a really strong movie. Um, Plot-wise, an extremely strong movie. Really one of the best anime films ever. One of the best films of the 2010s. But from a visual standpoint, it just looks beautiful. It's sharp. It's fantastic. It's fluid. It just feels just the movement is so free and it just feels like like it's totally it just feels amazing this movie watching this movie is an amazing experience because it just looks incredible watch mojo said that spider-man into the spider-verse is the best animated movie of the 2010s i do not agree with that i do think it's a pretty fantastic movie and i think the best thing about this movie is the animation what they went for with this movie was to make a movie that felt like a comic book. And it's a weird art style. It's kind of choppy. It looks like it has like a bad frame rate sometimes. And it's a mixture of 2D and 3D animation. And it... I've never seen a film... No, no movie ever made has ever looked like this film. The only thing that gets close that's sort of like this visual style that actually came before this is the show uh, Tron... Uprising by Disney XD that was cut short. It only had like one season. It was supposed to have a second one and they just cut it short. I don't know why. But um, it's kind of the same art style as that, but like amped up to a million times better. And it's just the best looking action and animation I think ever. Like I never get tired of watching this movie from a visual standpoint. Like it just looks amazing. Roma is a film made by the guy who made Gravity. And as such, it's a black and white movie. And 
I have to say, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen in terms of visuals. Like, this film, it won Best Filmography at the Grammys, I mean, at the Oscars, as it should have, because the camera work, the shots, it all feels like you're watching something revolutionary. Like, it just feels, and like, why? How? It's 2018. There've been a million movies, millions of movies. I don't know, millions, thousands. Hundreds of thousands that came out before this. How does this feel so revolutionary? How does it feel this unique and special and this outstanding? Well, I'm guessing it being black and white does add to that. But just the shots in this movie, the camera work, everything about it just looks amazing. This film looks incredible. Parasite, the best movie of 2019. Everyone agrees. Nobody debates it. Nobody says any movie's better. Chris Duckman said that Stinking, um, what's it called? Stinking Lighthouse was better? No. Uh, what's his face? Somebody else said, oh, Jeremy Johns didn't even watch this movie, and he said that Joker was the best movie of 2019. That's my favorite movie of 2019, and one of my favorite movies of the decade, but so is Parasite, and I think Parasite is objectively the best movie of 2019, and it's incredible, looks amazing. Um, once again, scenery matters a lot, and this film takes place in a very dark and dingy area where the poor family lives, and then this very rich house. And it just, this film is crisp. The visuals in this film are bright, they're crisp, they pop off the screen. This movie pops off the screen, in your face, and it just tells you a story just from the visuals, from facial expressions, from you know, it's in, it's subtitles, so, like, the body language matters, because it's not, you know, because I don't speak Korean, it, like, you know, I, 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 there's still subtitles, there's still dialogue that I understand because they have subtitles, but still, visuals do tell a story, and they are, they just pop off the screen, and it's beautiful, and it's fantastic, and it's amazing. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, what are your favorite movies from a visual standpoint? What are the what, do you, what movies to you are the most beautiful or the most impressive or the most fantastic from a visual standpoint? Did I miss anything in this video? Did I miss anything in the last video? I don't even know. Tell, please tell me. I may do another one of these in the future, but these are, these are, I really got everything off my chest. I think these are the, these are the 10 movies. It, with these two videos combined, with the first one and then this one, I, I got everything off my chest. This is everything. This, this, is, this is all the movies that I was, that I had on my brain that are visually outstanding. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day.